name is Shelly Schaus, and I serve as the CEO of Ohio County Healthcare. I'm so appreciative to each of you for taking the time to come out tonight and celebrate the grand opening of Ohio County Healthcare's new surgical wing. Before we start the festivities, I would like to take a moment to thank and recognize each of our patients who have trusted Ohio County Healthcare to be a part of their healthcare journey. Ultimately, this new surgical unit was built for each of you. May God grant all of our surgeons and team members the strength and skill to always provide healing and loving care when you're within these walls. Tonight, each of you will have the opportunity to tour where surgical innovation meets healthcare excellence. You will see areas of our operating department that are typically only available to patients and staff. But first, I want to share how this decade of dreaming and planning became the reality of this beautiful building behind us. The vision of Ohio County Healthcare is to provide outstanding care here to all the communities we serve. After countless meetings and completing two different facility health studies, it was determined by our governing board, leadership team, and medical staff that the best path forward was to ensure continued growth was to construct a new surgical department to adjoin our current hospital. After several years of planning and securing funding, OCH broke ground on this 27,000 square foot addition in January of 2022, committing to an overall long-term investment of over $35 million. This increases the size of our hospital campus by over 40%. This new unit contains some of the largest operating rooms in the state, allowing us to add robotic surgical procedures and expand many of our surgical offerings. We did not reach this milestone alone. I want to thank this opportunity to thank the many businesses and governmental agencies who partnered with us. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude for the hard work so many have contributed. Please forgive me if we fail to mention somebody. It's only right that I start with our governing board. Not all of them could be here with us tonight just yet. Um, but this governing board, Carla here as well, um, has spent immeasurable hours providing oversight and guidance on the strategic direction of Ohio County Healthcare. Here with us tonight is Carla Wallace, our governing board president, uh, Kelly Rowe, uh, vice president, Dr. Eddie Embry, secretary treasurer, Lloyd Spivey, Jim Duke, Beth Lunsford, uh, and Suzette Temple. Also serving this year as our medical staff representative is Dr. Nicole Akers. I also want to recognize Dr. Shrewsbury, who cannot be here this evening as well. With the help of our governing board, Ovation Healthcare, especially her winters, the dedication of our medical staff, and caring attitudes of our 725 employees, Ohio County Healthcare has grown to be the largest revenue producing critical access hospital in the state. At this point, I would like to have our board president, Carla Wallace, say a few words. Thank you. Well, what a day this is for Ohio County Health, and indeed for the citizens of Ohio County. We are so glad that you're here to celebrate with us. There's been hours, hours, hundreds, probably thousands of hours that Shelley, Blaine Piper couldn't be here tonight, but Blaine Piper was CEO when we started this project. And then Shelley Schaff took over. And then we have, uh, Shelley was CFO at the time as well. So I cannot begin to tell you how many hours that they have spent preparing this, doing the paperwork, the finite details, that uh, our money launders had to have from us. And we had so much help uh, from Dr. Altman, uh, Stuart Hibbs over here, uh, Lloyd Spivey was chair of the board at that particular time. I know I'm missing people that I need to talk about and thank, but I wanna most of all thank the citizens of Ohio County for supporting us and then I want to thank our staff. I mean, our employees are the backbone of this organization. Every last one of them. 
from our sur yes, yes, from our surgical staff to our surgeons, of course, our medical doctors, our housekeepers, our kitchen workers. Honestly, there is no one here that we are not grateful, just indeed thankful for. We believe in the vision, outstanding care here. And I also want to take this time to thank our physical court, Ohio County Physical Court. Uh, our hospital was built in 1956, and they have continually guided us, helped us gain the funds that we needed to do all of this mighty work. And I tell you, this physical court took on a big, big undertaking when they agreed to back us in this 35 million plus operation here. So we're so proud, David, we're so proud of you and your physical court, and I see uh, several of them out there in there. And I also want to tell you just a little bit about our, our board of directors. Uh, we have five board of directors that are uh, directly representative of each one of those magisterial districts, and then we have two that are at large. So we thank you, magistrates, for supporting us. We thank you, David Johnston, for supporting us. And David, would you like to speak at this time? I'm ready for you right now. <laughs> thank you all for listening. Good to be here. What a great day for our hospital and for our community to, to have this new surgical wing. It's always good to have uh, something that's better than our neighbors around us has, uh, healthcare-wise, or, or anything, but especially in healthcare, we're really proud of that. Uh, of course, the main thing is we're gonna serve a lot of people and make a lot of people healthier and better. That's a, that's a big thing, but but it, it is great to have uh, have it. And uh, you'll see a lot of people coming here from other communities for health care as well as, as the people that live here, which we're really proud of. Uh, planning of this started in 2013, but I heard the need for it being expressed uh, uh, before that. When I first came into office in 2011, the talk was starting about the need for it. And uh, the surgeon that was here at that time was... Uh, uh, had brought it to everybody's attention that it was needed. We're really proud that it got to move. And our fiscal court worked with the hospital to secure the loans from the USDA. Um, and uh, once we get past all oh, five or six million, we couldn't pay it back anyway if we had to, so we didn't worry about it after it got past that. It's, yeah, it's like a man climbing the radio towers he was scared uh, the, the, the real tall ones he said no when you get past uh, 30 feet and you fall you're going to die anyway so between 30 and 500 it don't really matter you know just keep it going well that's the way we are with the debt here but we know it's going to be paid off we, we know there's a good solid financial plan and that it's all going to going to be great so I appreciate you all coming and again I'm just really proud of our hospital Words. We appreciate the service of our elected officials uh, that they provide to our communities. We would also like to recognize the support of uh, Senator Steve Meredith. He was out here. There he is. Okay. Over the past year, uh, he's, he's always working to help rural hospitals, and um, he helps make sure we're well represented in Frankfurt, and we appreciate that. And I now would like to introduce Dr. Elizabeth Ottman, board certified OBGYN, who serves as the medical director for OCH and Surgical Services. Um, thank you all so much for coming out to celebrate with us tonight. We actually started talking about the Surgery Center in 2010 when I came to Ohio County Hospital. So it's been a long time coming. It's been a lot of planning and a lot of support from our board and the fiscal court, and we're so excited that it's finally opening. Um, the new facility with its equipment and support staff will allow us to perform surgeries that really advance technology. So we can do robotic surgery, cancer surgery, 
advanced GI, ENT, orthopedic surgery, all can be done here. And this kind of helps in the healthcare desert that is the nature. So you don't have to be in Owensboro or Bowling Green. You can come right here and hopefully we'll expand into rural healthcare. OCH is committed to continually advancing rural healthcare in Kentucky. So I'm really excited for this day. I would like to introduce some of the surgeons and medical staff that are here with us today. So we have um, Dr. Willie Polio, orthopedic surgery. Dr. Josh Skiba, who's a cardiology, as well as our um, chief medical officer. Dr. Phil Hurley, who um, really helped us with our orthopedic program through the years. Dr. Riccio, who's been here for a long time and is an outstanding GI physician. Bailey Phelps, Dr. Ruth, who's ENT. Um, Dr. Mark McGinnis, right there, sorry, hey. Dr. Taylor's here. And then I saw Chris Sampson with anesthesia. And we really want to have a shout out to our anesthesia group has really elevated our ability to take care of high risk patients here at this hospital. You don't have to be shipped out. So we're excited. Thank you so much. All right. As you enter the building, you will note a plaque inside the door that lists all those who are part of this building surgical excellence project. It includes ESA, architectural group out of Nashville, Tennessee, who finalized the building drawings after the original plans were designed by Chris Ross, and who worked on several OCH projects over the years. And then the construction project by Ware Construction out of Louisville. After 18 months, this crew seems like family to us, and we are so appreciative of their hard work uh, and patience. Kelly Holcomb, Matthew Atwell, Brad Brown, and team, would you please wave your hands so we know who you are. Building would not have been possible without our financial partners, such as the USDA Department of Rural Health or Rural Development, Compeer, and of course our friends at First United Bank. If you, so I appreciate uh, all of you for being here and uh, working uh, so well with us. And every department within Ohio County Healthcare has made this expansion possible, and we appreciate all of their efforts. And I do want to uh, recognize a few who have put countless hours of planning and work into this project. Tony Ward, Director of Special Projects. And Alicia Crooms, Director of Surgical Services. Both have participated in every construction meeting and worked diligently to make sure every detail was in place so that we can provide outstanding care here. Also, while not here with us tonight, I want to thank a moment to thank uh, Blaine Piper, OCH's previous CEO of 38 years, who had the vision of what this facility could mean to our healthcare system and our community. And on, <laughs> and on a personal note, I'd like to thank my administrative team, Stuart Hibbs, Michael Hanley, uh, out there somewhere. Sue Wydick, Cece Robinson, and Athena Miner, who couldn't be here with us tonight. And as well, for my family, for their love and support um, during this first year as CEO of this amazing healthcare system. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm now pleased to welcome OCH's own Robinson, Director of Community Relations, who's also serving as this year's Chamber of Commerce President to preside over the ribbon cutting ceremony. Okay, so listen, I only have another like 10 pages of worth of notes to talk about. So is anybody hot out there? Anybody want to go in and see this amazing new building? Or do y'all want to just keep standing out here? And I got it. Um, Shelly, when you were speaking earlier, I think you mentioned we have 725 employees. I mean, that's amazing. I don't want to tell my age, but I've been here a couple of decades, Judson Hunter, two decades. And when we, I started, we had two, under 200 employees. Do you remember those days, Jim? 200 employees. And in that time, we have grown to 725 employees. That makes us the third largest employer in Ohio County. Yes. So while we at all times put our patients 
at the center of what we do. We also very much recognize the importance that we have to the economic health of the communities we serve. We have locations in Owensboro, Butler County, Fordsville, and then here in Hartford and Beaverdam. Those are thriving centers of health that provide jobs and um, patient care for, for a large part of Western Kentucky now. And that's pretty impressive. And so I'm so proud of where this organization has come. And especially as our Chamber of Commerce president this year, I wanted to really emphasize that it's not just our patients we take care of, it is those communities. So I think I did the multiplier judge. I think what is if you do the economic multiplier, 725 employees, if you multiply that ripple effect of their spending throughout their communities, that's another $20 million a year that we generate into these communities. I think we paid, what was it in taxes this year, last year, Judge? Uh, $355,000. He knew it. $355,000 we just as a health care organization were able to put back into the Ohio County community. And these are numbers. And the, what we really do is we take care of people, but those numbers are important. And those numbers are important to our magistrates, our elected officials, and every citizen of Ohio County who counts on us to be their guardian, who counts on us to have an ER that's open and qualified, wonderful medical staff to take care of them in their time of need. Um, with that, I would like to ask our Chamber of Commerce directors, our board of directors, to come up and join me. We're going to cut a ribbon right here in front of the stage. And this is my favorite part. I get to start getting bossy. I love to be a bossy picture taker. I do. I, I really think it's my forte. So we're going to start. I'm going to hand them the ribbon, and they're going to spread it out way here in front. So once we cut this ribbon, because, again, I'm just extra, um, we've got one more ribbon on the double doors that lead into the building. And we're going to let our surgical team over here, who are going to be taking care of us, cut that ribbon. So once we cut this ribbon, they're going to walk over and cut that ribbon, and then we welcome everyone to come on in. And we're so, so glad you came out tonight. Thank you. Do it fast.